Hey, 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 what's up, you guys? Gediminas here. Hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Uh, so I'm about to head over to the airport uh, to fly back to UK uh, after the four-day Beyond Leadership training here in Henderson, Nevada uh, with Eric Warrior and the GoPro team. Uh, it's been really awesome. I really, really enjoyed it. A lot of information, a lot of great stuff to implement into the business. So I'm super excited to do that. But... Uh, before I go, I wanted to share with you a cool process for problem solving. Hey Margarita, hey David, hey Ruta, uh, hey Yana, I hope you guys are doing well. So this process is called GROW uh, and it's a process that you can use for yourself to solve problems but also it's really useful uh, when helping your team members to solve their problems. Right. So four letters, GROW, uh, so the first letter G stands for goals. So uh, let's say a person has a challenge, but what is the goal? So maybe somebody's, the problem is uh, I can't recruit. So what's the goal? The goal is to have more team members, right? Or maybe somebody's challenge is I can't sell. So what's the goal? The goal is to have more customers, right? And make more money and things like that, right? So that's the goal, right? So we, first of all, we identify what's the goal of this person, right? The second letter, R, stands for reality. Okay, so what's the reality? What's the challenge that this person is having right now? What is the difficulty? What are the obstacles? What is the problem, right? So reality is basically identifying what's going on. So if a person's problem uh, is, uh, you know, I can't sell, right? So then we might look at the reality. So what's the challenge? You know, uh, are you talking to people or are you scared of talking to people, you know, or etc. Et so you can identify what is exactly happening right now that's causing that problem, right? So that's the second letter. The third letter is options. So then you identify the options, what could be done? So what could you do? to solve this problem? What could you do to get to that goal that you desire, right? And you list all the things that could be done, right? So maybe you could read a book on sales. Maybe you could attend a seminar. Maybe you could try this, that, and the other, right? So you can write down a list of all the options, all the things that you could do in order to solve that problem and to reach the goal that you want to reach, right? And then the last letter W stands for way forward. And that basically means action. So out of the options that you identified, which one are you willing to take the action on? Which one are you actually willing to do, right? Because sometimes we have plenty of solutions, but we're simply not willing to take the action. We're simply not willing to do what needs to be done. You know what I mean? And the reason why I really, really like this process is especially for your team members. So when your team member comes to you with a challenge, as a leader, almost instinctively, you always want to just give them the solution. Just, oh, just do that. Or just do this. Or just, just do it like that. But the problem is that if you do that, it uh, causes dependency. It doesn't allow for your team member to become independent because you give them everything, um, all the solutions. You don't allow them to become problem solvers. You don't allow them to solve their own problems. But if you use this process and somebody comes to you with a challenge in your team, you can say, great, grab a seat or let's talk and I'll help you to solve this problem. So first of all, goal. So, okay, so you have the challenge. What's your goal? Oh, well, my goal is to do this. Great. So what's the reality? What's causing this problem? They tell you what's causing that problem. Okay, so what are the options? What could you do to change that? What could you do? to get to that result. Well, I could do this, that, and the other. Cool. Okay, so finally, the way forward. What are you willing to do? What are you willing to do out of these options? Well, I could do this. Will you do it? Yes, I will do it. Great, that's it. Your problem solved. But who solved that problem? The person themselves. You understand what I'm saying? So it's much more powerful because you're empowering your team member to solve their own problems. Instead of just relying on you all the time, uh, to give everything on the plate. You know what I mean? So this way you are actually raising leaders and you're helping people to become independent. Right? So that's my tip for today. I hope you found it valuable. If you did, feel free to share. Uh, I saw a few of you shared. Thank you so much. You're absolutely awesome. I really appreciate you uh, for spreading this information, for spreading the word and, uh, you know, helping more people to see what we do. Have a great rest of your day, guys. I'm off to the airport and I'll see you back in UK very soon.